So last semester during our digestive system course, we had to make a video about a trip through the rumen. So this is a this is the video that our group ultimately came up with. It was supposed to be an elevator pitch, which is not more than a minute. So you'll notice my voice is a little bit higher because we had to condense the video and still make it so that people could understand. We made it in just under the amount of time that we needed to for the cutoff. Everybody thought it was hilarious. I hope you do too. Enjoy. Have you ever wondered how cows eat so much grass? Let me tell you, it is complicated, but they make it look so easy. After they grind it with their teeth, they swallow it, and it settles in their first of four compartments called the rumen, where little microbes like bacteria and fungi devour it. These microbes then break down the sugars to produce energy through a process called fermentation. Now the rumen's next door neighbor and second compartment is the reticulum. Inside of it, it has a honeycomb appearance and it acts like the alarm clock of the rumen, telling the rumen when it's time to contract and start moving food around. When it does this, it's called a primary contraction. These primary contractions help ensure proper digestion of food particles and movement from food particles to the next chamber, the omasum. The omasum is called the book of the stomach because it has so many layers stacked like pages to help absorb nutrients. So to get as much energy as possible, they need to make food particles as small as possible. So before food moves into the omasum, the reticulum will actually start a process called regurgitation. This is also a rumina rumination contraction. Food from the reticulum will be forced back up through the esophagus into the mouth, where it will be chewed again and mixed with spit. Mmm. Similar to regurgitation is what's called a secondary contraction, which helps the cow release gases into the rumen by burping. If they don't burp, they'll get a tummy ache. Mmm. Because of the downward movement and the contractions, food continuously enters the fourth and final compartment called the abomasum. This is different from the rest. It acts more like our stomachs and has special folds that allows it to expand and absorb nutrients. Food will pass through here and into the small intestine. Without specialized rumen movements, gas would build up. Food wouldn't be broken down efficiently and a cow wouldn't have a very good life. 